All just a shea, Sorens and shea, those warm temperatures, they're coming back our way. Uh, yeah, they are. Uh, we're pushing into the upper 90s today. Some of us pushing into the triple digits. It's going to be warm, if not hot, across southeastern Arizona. And we also have a chance for some showers and storms. So a very summer-like forecast. Uh, this is going to be a, a better opportunity along the international border today. But moisture will spread northward into tomorrow. So even Tucson should get a little bit of a bite. Also, as we work our way towards the end of the work week, we have more records in jeopardy and possibly uh, a potential for a triple digit day. So we'll take a look at that coming up as well. But currently we are sitting in the 50s and 60s right now. So uh, pretty nice out there. We've got a couple of 70s on the board, including Oracle, Florence and Ajo. Uh, upper 50s in Douglas holding on to 60 in Wilcox. So it is a warm morning for this time of year. High temps today pushing into the mid to upper 90s and low 100s, especially out towards Marana and Aver Valley. We are getting quite close at the two sides. International Airport. Low 90s though for Corona Day Tucson and Vail, 97 for the east side, low 70s for Mount Lemon. To the south and east, mainly in the 80s and low 90s today, so we are all pushing several degrees above our average highs for this time of year. And overnight lows as a result just won't be able to cool down as much, so mainly 50s and 60s for tomorrow morning. Future cast, we've got a disturbance passing by to the south that's helping push moisture northward into southeastern Arizona today and tomorrow. So by 2.30, not a whole lot going on, but we'll start to see some buildup over the high terrain. Could see a few showers develop around 6.30 tonight, especially in southwestern Cochise County. But that's pretty much it for today. About a 20% chance in Nogales and Sierra Vista with a better opportunity tomorrow. This is 12.30. We'll see some showers and storms develop as early as this time. Here in Tucson, we could get a bite as well as that moisture spreads northward and even if we don't get the rainfall at least we'll have a little bit of cloud cover here and there and that will help temperatures out a little bit by 4 30 in the afternoon we could see moisture spread as far northward as graham and greenlee county and then most of us will dry out by late tuesday night Forecast rainfall totals, a few hundredths of an inch possible in Sierra Vista. Same thing here in eastern Pima County. No Gallus, maybe a quarter of an inch or just a little bit less. And even over the high terrain, we could see some decent totals. So, of course, we could use the moisture this time of year. So we will take it while we can get it. But unfortunately, high pressure is really in control. And that's what's pushing our temperatures well above normal for today. Temps will slide down a little bit Tuesday and Wednesday. But as high pressure rebuilds back into the area, we're back in the upper 90s by Thursday and Friday. Friday, and we could maybe hit that triple digit mark later this week. And then by early next week, it looks like temperatures will begin to cool a little bit. But roller coaster ride in the 90s all week long, getting close to the triple, digi uh, triple digits today. The record is 101 back in 2020, and today is October 16th, which marks the latest triple digit day on record here in Tucson. But look, we're getting really close again this upcoming Friday, so that record will be in jeopardy, as well as the record for that day, 97 back in 2003. But temperatures will slide down by next Sunday and into next Monday. Let's